one final question like uh, the historicity of Jesus and some skeptics question uh, historicity of Jesus and they say the apostles made up the stories about Jesus and what is the historicity of Jesus if you just take archaeology into consideration is there a, uh, does archaeology shed any light on the historicity of Jesus forget about his uh, mir- miracles and all that supernatural stuff right well the short answer is no archaeology does not <laughs> but it's not all bad so i just want to so let me explain um you know uh for the most part when we get archaeological remains that we can identify with a particular individual Uh, those remains tend to be associated with with people who were rich and or powerful because those are the kind of people who left monuments that are inscribed with their names that may be described in uh in literary sources so you think about a Herod for example right i mean why do we know about Herod we know about Herod because Josephus tells us all about Herod right and we have archaeological remains of those sites that we can associate with Herod right yes. or somebody like a Pontius Pilate who's mentioned in in that inscription right so we have ways of identifying those figures either in the literary record uh or in the archaeological record and we can match it up right now that's the case for the rich and the and the powerful but that's not the case for 99.9% of the people who lived in antiquity right the, the 99% in antiquity were people who left no identifiable remains in the archaeological record by which i mean we have houses uh of you know of common people regular people right we have but we don't we can't identify the inhabitants of those houses we don't know who the names of the people who lived in them or owned them or whatever because we have no way of getting that information right we can identify Herod's palaces at his sites but we can't identify the occupants of an individual village house just say they were villagers so jesus falls into that category right he's part of the 99% he's not part of the 1% and so we may we may have actually we may have archaeological remains associated with jesus the man we might maybe we have excavated somewhere a ceramic cup that he drank out of maybe we do how would you know how would you know right it would be very hard because the name of jesus was a common name well, it was a common name but even even so the the cups aren't inscribed what you have are pieces of pottery yes how would you know right unless you find an authentic contemporary ancient inscription that says Jesus slept here <laughs> and you knew it was that Jesus right which again you say as you say is a common name there's no way that you would know because people like Jesus did not leave those kinds of remains in the archaeological record they did not right the closest we come is something like the church of the holy sepulcher which was built years after the time of Jesus on the spot that came to be venerated as the spot where he was crucified and buried right so if you accept that tradition then we have a spot that we could directly tie to Jesus maybe right but otherwise it's very hard so what do i think i think that uh, i don't think that i mean What you have to understand about archaeology is that and and since you're a doctor I'm sure you can appreciate this. Archaeology is a science. And this is what most people don't understand about science. But science I, I mean that is controversial, right? What? That archaeology Ar- is a science? Oh no, archaeology properly done is a science. Well, I mean how can you say it is a science because science should be cyclical and verifiable. Ah, ah so and- And right. it should be like I mean, if if we want to study gravity, it is available. It is independently verifiable. Ah. But if you get your pot shared in Bethlehem, yes. 
is you send the three archaeologists, they come up with three different conclusions. Right. How can you say that is scientific oh, very matter? Good. I'm so glad you asked that. So, so several things. So first of all, you're right. Archaeology is, is I, so archaeology is a science, but it's not an exact or a hard science. And the reason is precisely what you said, because in an exact or a hard science, the point is that you have to be able to replicate the experiment. And in archaeology, you cannot replicate the experiment because once you have dug that material out of the ground, you've destroyed the data in the process. Excavation destroys the data in the process of excavation, which is why archaeologists record everything that we do so thoroughly and then try to publish it afterwards because that's the data set. But, but even like hard sciences, there are similarities, right? So first of all, you have the data, but then there's the matter of interpretation of the data, right? People think data is, no, no, data is not just data. There's interpretation, right? So it, it depends on how you interpret the data. And the second thing, um, and now I was just, ugh, I just lost my train of thought. Um, I just completely lost my train of thought. This is unbelievable. Sorry. I mean, no, no, that's okay. It was, I wanted to, I, I was, let me just, okay. Well, anyway, never mind. I'll have to come back to this. So at any rate, the, the, the thing about archaeology then is it is a science, but it is, it is like any others. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Like any other science, it's a matter of how you interpret the data which means that there's no such thing as complete objectivity because there's interpretation involved. Now, the second thing that is connected to that is, this is actually what I was originally going to say, is that archeology span gives us a particular data set which is equipped to answer certain kinds of questions, but not other kinds of questions. So archeology span may tell us that an individual built an installation in a house. But it won't necessarily tell us what that installation was used for. Or even if we can say that that installation was, let's say, cultic. It won't tell us necessarily what that person was thinking or what they believed. Right? So this is the thing about archaeology. When you ask archaeology certain questions, you have to be asking the right questions. And the fact that archaeology cannot identify an individual in the archaeological record, the individual Jesus in the archaeological record, doesn't mean that Jesus didn't exist. It means that archaeology is not equipped to provide that information. And therefore, what you have to do, if you're asking about proving the existence of a historical Jesus, what you have to do is ask yourself, that is it possible that there was such a huge world conspiracy in the middle of the first century AD that within two generations of Jesus's death, gospels were being written that were completely fabricated. Right? Yes, yes. I don't think so. Yes. Right? The other thing, of course, is that the information in the gospel accounts is pretty much consistent with what we know about that world. In other words, if you're saying they invented a Jesus, but they didn't invent everything else, everything else is consistent. It doesn't prove the existence of Jesus, but I mean, it's consistent. So anyway, so I don't think that the fact that archaeology can't prove, you know, can't find something associated with the person Jesus in any way disproves his existence. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.